Hi guys, welcome to another video for January 2020 for my creative year. Uh, this year we're working with color and this month uh, we were working with warm colors and I already did a brief tutorial on what warm colors are and a quick play with them but I wanted to bring you something a little bit more um, in depth and inspired by a number of different things I had seen um, on the internet over the holidays that really inspired me to break out my homemade inspiration journals. Uh, the one that you see in the shots here um, is my one that's just all about skyscapes, photos I myself have taken and put in my journals and then done um, color stories based on the photos. And I found one that was in there that was very warm colored, uh, purples, uh, yellows, oranges, reds, and decided to do a watercolor picture with it, so uh, or inspired by it. So here I am masking off some edges in my watercolor journal because I want a clean straight edge uh, look for this painting. I'm using some uh, painter's tape, just plain blue hardware store painter's tape. I am trying to use the ruler to get it fairly straight. Um, it wasn't perfect, but it was okay. Um, you know, how compulsive you want to be about that's totally up to you. But anyway, uh, stick the tape down really well before you get started and then get out your watercolor paints. And we are going to stick for the most part with the warm colors in the palette. This is, I believe my floral palette, um, which is, the, got the majority of it are warm um, nature inspired or floral inspired colors. Uh, we will use a pop of a dark neutral um, coolish color, warm, well I guess it's on the coolish side of warm um, to um, accent our painting but you'll see when uh, we get started we are going to um, start by cleaning our little palette here. I am just using um, some purples to uh, start creating and suggesting my skyscape inspired by the photos I see in my book and I'm going to use a variety of colors in an abstract form to um, suggest what you see going on in the photo above. which the colors aren't coming across on camera as well as they could. They're actually a little warmer uh, than you are seeing there. I am making sure to use colors um, that won't create mud, meaning that I have a purple on there, so I want to not put orange right next to it because if they mix, they're going to make brown. Um, so I put pink and then I'll put yellow at the bottom. You're less likely to get brown um, because the yellow won't mix with the purple or the orangey colors won't mix with the purple. Also drying your work between layers. You will see me get out the heat gun and dry my work between layers. I am going to be layering the paints uh, in a, a number of times to get the look that I want. Um, watercolor is a transparent medium for the most part and uh, that means that you can layer your colors on top of each other. Um, and the uh, layers below will show through. I am making marks with my brush to suggest clouds that I saw in some of the inspiration photos in the journal that's on the desk above me just out of the shot. And there we go, it's dry and there's some more marks and I'm adding some darker colors. I'm working lighter and I'm working my way to darker colors until I'm happy with the composition, with the color story, with the movement in the painting and the movement of the clouds and suggestion of the clouds that I'm trying to create in the background. And with watercolor, you make the colors darker by adding less water. That's really, I mean, that's a very simplified way of saying it, but that's, you just add less water. If you have a purple color, but you want it lighter, just add a lot of water to it and you'll get a very light washed out version of that color. So here you see me with my heat gun. I actually have two of them now because I thought that one was broken, but the husband managed to fix it, fun fact. <laughs> so that's okay. It's very old and I'm sure it's on its last legs. So drying your colors between layers will uh, prevent a lot of 
color blending of colors you don't want, like those purples and those oranges, and um, lessen your chance of getting brown. It won't eliminate it completely because watercolor is a water soluble medium, but it will help you prevent that. And if you're quick enough and you don't get the page very wet, it works just fine. All right, now you see me going in with my dark neutral and suggesting trees. I do live in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, my view outside of my back door is of trees. I live next to the woods. Uh, I go walking in the neighborhood, it's full of trees. So of course the skyscapes for the most part in my journal are, um, involve some sort of pine trees. So we are suggesting pine trees here with our dark neutrals in the pal same palette, I haven't switched palettes, um, dark blacks and Payne's grays and um, dark browns and um, using different shades of those colors to suggest our trees and depth in our trees. Um, you can, of course, also, we're mixed media artists, so don't feel like you have to um, only do this with paint. You, of course, can dry everything and go over some things and add marks with gel pen in the appropriate colors and um, pencil, whatever you have laying around. Do this in acrylic paint. But the point is I want you all to experiment and step out of your box a little bit. Bring in those warm colors to really suggest uh, lightness, brightness, and warmth. You'll notice in the comp finished composition of this how warm that sunset sky looks. And I'm going to be bringing you some more content directly to the Facebook group for my creative year on this. Um, different little suggestions on how you can bring warm colors into your work uh, to suggest that lightness, brightness, and warmth without using white. And um, it's really fun to just limit your palette uh, with, to these colors and that really makes it so that you have to learn how to use them in your work and what way using them is going to make you really happy. So I want to have you all give it a shot this month. Uh, if you want to see other content by me and the other teachers over in my creative year on working with warm colors, we'd love to have you join. The link is in the description below, uh, along with links to my Patreon and my tip jar and all kinds of other stuff, my Etsy shop to support the free content here on YouTube. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, I would love to hear them. Please leave in the, them in the comments below. Or if you're in the Facebook group, um, you can tag me in a post over there and I will reply. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And above all, besides play with your paints, get those warm colors out. Even if you don't like orange, I'm not a big fan. Try using some of it in your work and see what happens. I would love it if you did that and I would love to see what the results were. Go out though and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye guys.